Welcome back. The videotaped shooting of a South Carolina man by a police officer has intensified the calls for police officers to wear body cameras at all times. This morning, we want to take a look at the significance of recording encounters with the police in a way you haven't seen before. This week, the folks over at the Huffington Post wrote a print version of how the North Charleston encounter would have been covered had there been no tape of the incident. So we thought we'd try to do a television version of what they did. How TV would have been stuck covering the story with no video to contradict the claims of the police department. Here it is. And remember, what you're about to see did not air anywhere. It is simply a version of how television would have had to cover the story if there were no video. And it had to rely entirely on information from the North Charleston Police Department. Every quote in here is real, released in the initial aftermath of the incident. A routine traffic stop turned deadly Saturday when police say a North Charleston officer was forced to open fire on a driver who tried to overpower him. It began when Officer Michael Slager pulled over 50-year-old Walter Scott for a broken taillight, and Scott suddenly fled the scene. Slager said he pursued Scott, and his lawyer told a local newspaper, when confronted, Officer Slager reached for his taser, as trained by the department, and then a struggle ensued. The driver tried to overpower Officer Slager in an effort to take his taser. Police say Scott was able to gain control of the taser, and that feeling threatened, Slager then reached for his gun and opened fire. Scott was hit and fell to the ground. Shot fire. Put your head down. You grab my taser. Police say other officers rushed to the scene, delivering first aid and performing CPR. Scott was pronounced dead at the scene. Walter Scott has a long rap sheet that includes charges of assault and battery and failure to pay child support. In a statement, North Charleston Police Chief Eddie Drigger said, This is part of the job that no one likes and wishes would never happen. This type of situation is unfortunate and difficult for everyone. Remember, everything you saw there was based entirely only on the information that was released by the police after the incident. The only way we could have covered the story without the video. And so what we learned once the video was released, of course, was a very different story. Walter Scott was running away when he was shot. He was shot in the back. That no CPR was performed, and it actually isn't clear at all that Walter Scott grabbed the officer's taser. Let me bring in the panel. Mayor Blake, you, you obviously mayor of a, a, a big city. You run a police, you're in charge of a police department here. Um, uh, the importance of, to me, cameras on cops. It's 100 percent in it. Definitely. We announced that we'll have our pilot program for body cameras, police body cameras, up uh, this year. It is very important as leaders to work to rebuild the bonds of trust that have been broken over time. This incident underscores that need, and you have to be proactive, and you have to be willing to do what the leadership down there did, which was to denounce it immediately mm -hmm. and, to, and to move forward. You, you, can't, you can't cover it up. You can't be willing. You can't be afraid of scrutiny. You have to lead. You know, uh, Hugh uh, Rialto, uh, there's been a study of, of, of the uh, pilot programs where there have been cameras on cops and where there have been body cameras. The number of complaints against officers down 88 percent and the number uh, and the decline in police use of force down 60 percent. I think we know the solution, don't we? Uh, well, the BWCs, as they're called, are changing, revolutionizing both what the police do and what suspects do. They all react differently when you're being watched. And I must say that was a, a very provocative and well done piece. And it does present to you why this video makes so much sense. On the front page of the Washington Post today, they have gone back 10 years. There are 54 prosecutions of police who shot people, only 11 convictions. Some are still pending. And you wonder if BWCs had been available, whether those numbers would be different. But the downside is, if you've seen Furious 7, God's Eye, do we really want police recording everything all the time? Look, the ACLU has said this, and there's some Fourth Amendment issues here. Uh, and frankly, there's also a cost issue, too, Maria. Somebody's got to pay for these. Yes, but all of this would not have happened if it wasn't for Fendine Santana, yes. right? Who's an immigrant from the Dominican Republic. Then most people are like, where's the Dominican Republic? You know, the majority of Latinos actually... Well, a lot of baseball fans know where the Dominican is. <laughs> True, but across the country, so 64% of Latinos, Mexican, the United mm -hmm. States has 3.1% of Dominicans. But here's this young man who said, I wanted them to know that they weren't alone. Right. He's recording the whole thing, and of course, when he goes to offer it to the police department, they dismiss him like, who's this probably black 
immigrant with an accent. Yeah. What could he possibly know? And that motivates him to go to the next step. He's being hailed among some Dominican immigrants as an American patriot, as somebody who has changed the discourse because as journalists, we depend on facts. Right. And when the police department says these are the facts. And you trust a police department. You're trusting them. We yeah. have to. You know, David, I, I can't help but wonder, do we have, do you think that there, I wonder if there's a difference in how suburban police forces, smaller, not as much scrutiny, not as much funding, hire their police officers versus how big cities who have a probably have a we know this because the big cities right now look like their police departments look like the communities they police the suburban ones don't and where are we having the trouble yeah first on your report I started my career as a police reporter at a place called the City News Bureau of Chicago and our slogan was if your mom tells you she loves you check it out hmm. yes. and and that's what we that's a lesson ho yeah. hopefully have done in this case uh, I do think it's hard to know. I do know the police, when I was covering them in a big city like Chicago, mm -hmm. when they do something bad, they cover it up. Uh, and, and, I mean, and, there's a lot of plot lines. We yeah, know this. It's yeah. everybody's instinct. Right. We, so there isn't. I'm, I'm much more ambivalent than the rest of the panel on the, on the cop cams. I mean, I, I support them because I think they are for the truth, but I think right. there's going to a lot be lost. Most of what cops do is not big f right. capturing a felon. It's getting somebody's home, getting in their private life at the worst moment of their life in domestic violence. And if there are cameras on there, that we can trust, and if those cameras, if those videos go on YouTube, as they will, no, I know, we can trust. And I think the, that's the only thing. And I can picture a Supreme Court case coming, yeah. where we have this issue on on sort of the camera being an illegal search and seizure but, of some. But form if or it's another. that, or Versus somebody getting lives. getting somebody I know, shot, I think we have to at least have the dialogue, which is what we're doing, which and is great, and work that, those issues out. Right. Absolutely. You're going to be able to pay for all these cameras. Uh, Who well, pays for it? Feds, state. No, I mean, the feds have to participate if yeah. we're going to, if it's going to be a meaningful program, yeah. but we have to have, uh, you know, you have to pay for your priorities and, and trust with the police. Is hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.